Message from the collective of those that are meant to resonate. Okay. Four Swords, King of Wands in Reverse, The Sun, Leo Energy, Nine of Cups, and The Fool. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Could be, with the Four Swords, could be a bit of a um, time, a contemplative period of, of time, because you have the Two of Swords in Reverse, the bottom, or Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck underneath that the four of cups so you could kind of be like in an odd space right now um this could have something to do with creativity this could have something to do with initiating new things or feeling like stagnant and something with a fresh start or feeling like you're waiting for a fresh start a new beginning in some area okay because you do have the fool so the fool fresh starts the beginning so it could feel like Okay, kind of shadow energy. The sun card is that desire, I feel like, for this, it's like a spark, something. You might feel creatively stifled for some of you. You might feel as though you're not able to create movement or flow in some area of your life or just in general, okay? The four swords, you are healing. You are recovering. You are in a place of rest or it's like the time in your life it's it's not really on the physical aspect of it it doesn't seem like things are flowing but that's not the case i feel for some of you you are in two mindsets and it's like spirit is saying like you go back and forth between like you understand what's going on or what needs to be done or understanding this process and then there's a part of you that like still wrestles with it i hope this is making sense let me see the top of the deck you have the ace of wands so yeah this could have something to do with creativity or again like i said a spark a flow in your life you may not be feeling that spark of that flow the king of wands is someone that is extremely ambitious someone that is always on the go someone that is um the head director of whatever it, it is in their life that they're passionate about whether it's home whether it's their career whether it's their health there's something here where you don't feel in control i'm getting that might be the thing if you believe in like you know spiritual lessons i'm sure most of you do but that feeling i feel like the lesson in this is to let go of that man-made control and what i mean by that is it's like it's kind of like a structured limited type of inspired action it's coming from logics it's coming from past experiences it's coming from only what you can see in front of you so therefore you're you're going off of that rather than not putting a laser focus which is a tunnel vision and you're not able to see anything outside of that bubble you know what i mean so when the divine's working is in it it's like things that we you know maybe in the past couldn't see or things that we're able to create or move and shake in our lives these are things that may have not been available to us or these are just divine inspirations that couldn't have come from anywhere else um and this also could have something to do with divine time i don't know why i'm getting that but right now i feel it's also this childlike energy the revitalization yeah because you got the full and the sun i'm getting childlike energy what I mean by childlike, of course not childish, but that freedom, that just letting go and surrendering. And for those of us that are extremely, um, extremely practical or um, more rational minded, you know, earth sign, air sign energy, <laughs> or like a fixed, like a fixed sign person. Because you, you do have Leo. Leo is fixed. Although their fire, you know, their pursuit in things is more methodical, maybe, whereas a Sagittarius is more jovial about their approach, right? Or an Aries is more um, courageous or more assertive, right? Wands, or the king of wands I'm getting is Leo energy. You don't have to be a Leo, but you're operating in this energy when it comes to how 
you create movement and action in your life. There's something that is going against your grain or your flow that makes you feel like you're stagnant, but you're not stagnant. Spirit's trying to get you in the energy of flow. The Nine of Cups is self-fulfillment on an emotional level. I feel like also, too, the, the other lesson is harnessing or tapping into um, that peace and that fulfillment within what you have inside of you rather than attaching it to other things going on so if you place a heavy focus on career or your importance or your identity on career or your social life because you might be things like that you may not be i just got a spam call you may not be going on um dates right now you may be having bad luck in that area or seemingly bad luck or um you know every time or plans get canceled or you just don't have the energy to do these things look at it from this perspective of it's not something bad happening because again this is like the reprogramming the rewiring in our mind when we look at things that don't seem to go our way it's a redirector it's a realignment readjusting it's certain things in the map you know that we can't see so let's say you're driving your car right and your GPS is telling you that this is the way to get to where you want to get to, right? But then something pops up and says there's a traffic jam over here, or an accident or something that happened over here. So you have to redirect and go another way. So if that wouldn't have given you that fair warning, you probably would have got stuck in, tra stuck in traffic due to this accident, right? So your GPS is going to take you to where you need to go at the end of the day. It just may be a different route to that in which you're going. So that lets this that control thing again, letting go of the way that you think you have to get there. Um, it was a post. I posted it on probably my Instagram story a couple of weeks ago. It was Kaylani saying this very same thing. And it happens in, she said it, I'm paraphrasing, but these things happen in a way that you could have never imagined or fathomed working out. So... It's like that trust, the fool. The fool, to me, is a reminder to let us know that no matter where you're going, whether you feel like you have all the tools that you need or you don't or you don't have all the information, you have enough to go off of to lead you to where you're supposed to go. And it, it takes that trust in, along the journey. Because I am getting that you are on, on the cusp of a new beginning. It doesn't seem like it it doesn't feel like it but you are okay this is not saying to just live in a fantasy world and just give up whatever but it is teaching you faith like it's funny that people talk about faith in god or faith in the universe and all of that but we try to control every single thing in the universe and it's like you got to think outside of the box and if you're not able to understand and understand that the universe, the divine, the most high God is far vast in intelligence than the most intelligent person on the earth. So the decodings of the universe and all of that, we have insights into all these things, but there's certain levels of things that we don't see. And there's a reason why we're not able to see it. It could be protection. It could be because we can't handle that type of information or we are not responsible enough to handle what, what comes with these things so it's like look at it as okay I know what I need to know at this time and anything that I need to know is not going to be withheld from me I can access that but if it is something that is not meant for me to see or to know I'm going to trust that it's for a reason you know um I am getting to for some of you you're learning self-love as well you're learning how to trust you're learning how to trust in your inner guidance, your inner knowing as well, because if you're too caught up in the logics and the practicality of things, you're not centered in your being, you're not centered with that relationship with yourself to understand or understand what's going on inside of you because you're trying to make it make sense and you're going to drive yourself crazy doing that. And I think I said that in another reading, like you'll drive yourself nuts trying to figure everything out in this box of oh this makes sense this doesn't make sense let that go the miracles happen when you you allow yourself to be in the flow of things 
And when you're in the flow, you're going to get those subtle nudges. You're going to get those downloads. You're going to get those divine inspirations to do things. You're going to start seeing things piece itself together. You're going to start to see doors open, avenues open up in ways that you didn't, you couldn't see before. But if you're only looking at one way, two ways, three ways, or four ways of things, you're you're not. It's going to drive you nuts. I'm just I'm just saying. So. If you need to, ground your energy, because I keep looking at the sun card. This person looks like they're at a park. They got their sunflowers. They got their lunch. They got, you know, they're just chilling, right? Do something that is so simplistic or simplistic things and just be present. Because I feel like, God forbid, like you guys have a, a, a mental or emotional breakdown. And I feel like if you're so used to running on this engine you're going to burn yourself out and this is something that spirit has been telling me because i have a tendency to overindulge in work or do 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 like continue to do things when i'm just being simply just called to just be present and rest and like if you want to watch a movie there's nothing wrong with watching a movie if you want to go to the park go to the park if you want to make some jewelry just out of the fun of it not because you're thinking about um business or you want to read a book or you want to draw or something just do that do something so simplistic and just be present because if your mind is constantly focused on oh i don't know how this is gonna happen oh i don't know how this is gonna happen oh i don't know you're gonna drive yourself crazy okay so we don't want that all right much love as always y'all be blessed peace